Hello, my name is Magdiel Lopez. I'm a digital artist and designer, originally from Havana, Cuba, and now I live in Dallas, Texas. For the last 10 years, I've been working with the small and big companies to create colorful and surreal graphics. Today, I'm really excited to join Adobe Stock in this new series, Make It Happen, where we get to use a lot of Adobe Stock assets and transform them into different compositions. Adobe Stock is my favorite stock because you have a lot of conventional stock images, but also you have super out of the box creative images that you get to use and combine to create different projects. All right, so here's a creative brief for this episode of Make It Happen. We get to create a fictional music festival. We can name it whatever we want. We can also create a logo for it and even come up with a lineup. From there, we get to go to Adobe Stock and pick whatever assets we want from their library, which is huge. So I'm really excited for that. This is the part where I get to call a friend of mine that's gonna help me create like a promotional video for the festival. Without further ado, let's jump into it. The first thing I did is go to Illustrator and created a small branding for the concert. Next, I created a sketch of what I wanted the final concept to look like. I wanted something really big, interacting with something small. So I came up with this concept of the hand and the subject kind of floating above it. After that, I went ahead and looked for some references within my own work and also some of the stuff that I found online. I want this to be colorful, like I said before, and also to have like a nostalgic 80s vibe, uh, as well as a video game kind of look. And this is when I went to Adobe Stock to look for my first set of images that I would use to make this composition. I found this really cool image of this subject that's kind of floating, and I clicked Save to the Library. Also, inside of Adobe Stock, I found the other main image for this composition, which is the hand. I also clicked Save to Library, and then opened everything in Photoshop, and I started cutting the hand using the pen tool. I also brought in the image of the subject. I saw the wireframe was too transparent and I wanted to give it more light and shadows. So I took it into a 3D rendering tool and then I dropped it back into Photoshop. From there, I continued to match the colors of the hand with the subject. Here's a pro tip on how to match the lighting on the subject to the hand. First, create a gradient map and apply it to the layer. Then pick the color on the subject lighting and apply it as a highlight. From there, you're going to open the blending options for the gradient map. And here's where the trick is. You're going to go to the bottom. It says underlying layer. You're going to hold Alt or Command on the Mac and the slider will split in half. You have to grab the right side and move it to the right and you'll see the effect apply only to the highlights. At this point, I needed to go back to Adobe Stock to look for some other images that I would use in my composition. I was looking for some rocks, some light effects and also some flares. A really cool feature inside of Adobe Stock is that after you find an image that you really like, you can go underneath it and click on Find Similar. And that will pull up a bunch of images that look really similar to the one that you really like to give you more options. And after looking for a few moments, I saw these ones and I thought they were amazing, so I added them to my library. After that, I went back to Photoshop and started adding the elements that I brought from Adobe Stock. I erased the shadows to match the lighting and make it look more realistic. I also brought the rocks in rearrange them, and continue to do the same treatment to the shadows. I added the subject's shadow to the hand and continue to work on the image. Finally, I added a clipping mask to the lighting layer and with the brush, used different colors to make it look like a rainbow. All right, guys, this is what the final poster for the concert looks like. I think it looks amazing, but of course, we're missing the animation. So I called my friend Josh. He's an incredible animator. I gave him some direction, and after a few days, this is what he came up with. And finally, in addition to the main poster and the animation, I created a set of images that could be used as assets in social media and other aspects of the campaign for the concert. So let's recap what we did today. First, we came up with a concept. This is the most important part because it's the foundation for everything else. Here's where you pull from reference images, also your own ideas, and you kind of make a sketch or a drawing of what you want the final poster to look like. From there, we went to Adobe Stock to look for images and we saved them into our library. After that, we went into Photoshop, made a line up with the original sketch, removed the backgrounds for all the images, and apply a lot of effects and a lot of lighting to make it all match up and look like the final composition. Also, we added the branding for the concert on top of it to give it the final touch. Thank you guys for joining us today in this episode of Make It Happen with Adobe Stock. If you liked the video and learned something today, make sure you share it with a friend like the video and subscribe and we'll catch you guys in the next episode.